It's a major milestone in the life cycle of the construction of the nation's next aircraft carrier. Tomorrow, Newport News Shipbuilding will hold the time-honored island landing ceremony for the future warship known as USS John F. Kennedy. 13 News Now military reporter Mike Gooding has more on the significance of this big moment. Well, and Janet, it means that Big John will be one step closer to its planned November christening and thus one step closer to joining the fleet. The 555 metric ton island bearing the number 79 will be raised and lowered into place on board the future USS John F. Kennedy's flight deck. The ceremony at Newport News Shipbuilding will mark the final super lift in the construction process of the 100,000 ton warship. With the island's arrival, the JFK will take on the distinctive and unmistakable profile of an aircraft carrier. Visually speaking, it will be the final piece of the puzzle. This is not about politics in any way, shape, or form. It's really honoring the legacy of our former president, and most important, doing the right thing for the United States Navy and for our national defense. The $11.4 billion Kennedy will be the second in the Gerald R. Ford class of aircraft carriers, replacing the aging Nimitz class. It will be named for the 35th president himself, a Navy man. Mary Ellen Baldwin is president and CEO of the Navy League of the United States Hampton Roads, a nonprofit civilian an educational and advocacy organization that supports America's sea services. She says the ship getting one step closer to reality with a planned November 2019 christening and a hoped for 2020 commissioning is very exciting. Every one of us who are residents here in Hampton Roads, it's a proud feeling when you see a carrier in the Chesapeake Bay. And to think that we were actually part of Navy history is very significant. We are absolutely proud to be a part of this. And speaking of aircraft carriers, President Trump today returned to a subject about which he has spoken a lot in recent months, uh, the electromagnetic launch system for the Ford class of aircraft carriers. Speaking today aboard the USS Wasp during his trip to Japan, the president said, while the new catapults are faster, they're too complicated, he said, and they're too expensive, and he said they were the wrong choice. The president went on to say, I'm going to put in an order. When we build a new aircraft carrier, we're going to use steam. Reporting live in the newsroom, Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.